we are in Coromandel, aren't we, honey? We are. Where are we heading to? To the hot pool. Oh, well, is it the hot beach? The hot hot beach. beach. Yeah, you can dig your own, um, but we've got to find out when the low tide is. Oh. Um, because you've got to do it an hour either side of low tide and you get to sit in some hot pools that you dig yourself. Sounds like effort and fun at the same time. <laughs> um, we just went to the supermarket. You can do the digging. It's amazing. Yes, I'll do the digging. Um, look, so many eco things. We, Michelle packed her own shit and um, <laughs> forgot half of it. So we've had to buy toothbrushes and toothpaste and <laughs> there's so many vegan options here in Coromandel. There was a, um, there's vegan cheese, vegan falafel wraps, the dumplings we had last night for dinner that you can get at the supermarket. So yeah, Coromandel, very progressive. So our first lookout point here in Coromandel. This is on your way to New Chum Beach. Oh, it's recording. Oh, yes. We are about to do the walk to New Chum Beach, which is 30 to 40 minutes. So we're trying to find our way to Chum Beach and <laughs> we think we've been led on a bum steer. Apparently it's just for locals and I figured, well, we live in New Zealand. Tourist, Aussie guy. And he said that there's a lot of mud and he's not quite wrong. <laughs> and we found it. New Chum Beach. And we're the only ones here. <laughs> the water is amazing. So we decided to walk around back through the pebbles and rocks this time. So many pretty pebbles and, and beautiful shells. So we just walked all the way around from there. A little snack, tempura sushi with vegetable sushi. Here. And a little bit of lunch on the go from the curry place and it looks pretty amazing. Anywhere you go, anywhere in the world, there is always, always vegan options. What are you having wife? Kebab. Kebab. Falafel kebab with hummus. Cabbage. Cabbage. Lettuce, tomato. Lettuce, tomato, Spinach. all the good stuff. All the amazing cancer fighting properties in vegetables and curry, turmeric especially, very anti inflammatory. There you go. This is cool. At Coromandel, they actually fill the car up for you. So we are heading to Cathedral Cove. Tuta Ratari Reserve. Oh, well, that was a lovely walk. So now we're at the Poor House, spelt P O U R. And it's a quirky little bar slash pub slash brewery. And they have vegan things on the menu. Shock horror. So we're just waiting for a nice afternoon snack. Did you say snack? <laughs> yeah, vegan pizza. Vegan pizza. Just like in Italy. It's all about that base. You know it's all about that base. The poor house. And here we are at Hot Water Beach. So this is Hot Water Beach. And we're about to dig ourselves a hole and sit in it. 
So the tip is do not dig too deep or you'll get scolded. So we found it's so hot. It is so hot. We are going to literally scold ourselves. We're going to be so red. This lady's got the idea. Yeah, it's so hot. Wow, this is such a cool experience. Guys, you've got to come to Hot Water Beach, Coromandel. I don't want to check what my pants look like. <laughs> look how bad I am. <laughs> so that was pretty damn amazing. Uh, we have third degree burns. Oh, and Michelle has sand all and in her And I have third crack. degree burns, see? <laughs> Bloody Queenstowners. You have to come here. Hot Water Beach, it's a must do. It's a must do in your life. All right, next. So that was a really nice encounter. We came across a pig farm, didn't we? Yes. And we're actually gonna get the keys to this guy's house on 200 acres um, up north and stay there for free. For free. Anyway, the pigs were amazing. They were so cute. Um, I'll uh, add some photos at the end of this and you can see them. We're off for dinner at the Coromandel Hotel. So here we are living up um, with some of the locals um, at the, what's it called? Coromandel, look how burnt I am. <laughs> We're pretty burnt. Uh, the Coromandel Hotel. Pretty awesome. Fenchy. Um, we're going to win a lawnmower tonight. 